Hey, welcome back. We're here with Peter Crithery from Sony. Peter, thank you so much for uh, joining us today at Pleasure. Production Hub yep. uh, Studio, so to speak, here yep. at BAMPRO. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about uh, your involvement with BAMPRO and with Sony and um, how that whole relationship started. Well, with BAMPRO and Sony, it's, they're a very valuable partner with us. We've worked with them for many, many years, uh, mainly on the acquisition side with our cameras and, and other products, display products and, and storage products. Um, they're extremely well versed, very knowledgeable in the industry, they're highly respected and we've had a very strong, very long relationship with Bamper. Yeah, it's been great. Well, especially here at the open house, you must have a lot of opportunity to hear directly from customers and get yes. some valuable feedback. Yes, so we, we spend a lot of time with customers, especially at events like this, where we get their feedback on what we're doing well, what needs to be improved, what we can potentially engineer for the future. Uh, based on their needs, a very diversified set of needs from camera acquisition to media management, storage products, uh, displays, display technology, whether it's professional or consumer. Uh, and we take that feedback and we provide that to the appropriate engineering groups within Sony. And we have meetings, discussions, uh, sessions about it and decide what we can do, what can wait, what can't wait, what is viable, you know, what the market needs based on all that feedback. So we've implemented a lot of firmware updates in our products based on exactly that, very valuable customer feedback that we get from events like this and, and other, other types of opportunities where if it's technically possible to implement, we'll discuss it, if we can do it, if we have the resources to do it, if it's required by the industry to do it, you know, generally speaking, we'll do it. And, and as I mentioned, a very good example of that is on the camera side, uh, very significant, very frequent firmware updates, introducing new features, powerful features, at no cost in most cases to the customer. And in most, most cases, that's based on that customer feedback. We need this feature, can you implement it for these reasons? We can't always think of it ourselves in the beginning, what the customers will need, and the feedback process is a very valuable part of that engineering uh, engineering uh, environment. So. Well, let me ask you this, because we talked before you came on the set about some things that Sony is working on, some of the latest developments, some of the newer things. Can you go into that a little bit? Sure, so everyone knows us as being a camera company. We're very powerful in that area. We have many cameras from the Alpha line, consumer line, to the prosumer line, all the way up to the very high end with the Cineol to the F65, 8K motion picture cameras, everything in between, shoulder, broadcast, and everything else. Um, what we've been really focusing on is, is diversifying our product portfolio so that we essentially become the production partner, the production consultant for the customer irrespective of what their challenge is in their environment, whether it's acquisition, file management, post-production, uh, archiving, distribution, asset management in, in all of its different mm -hmm. you know, forms and varieties, um, whether it's server infrastructure, media management, we've been focusing on all of these different pillars of production, the primary pillars of production, so that we have a very diverse ecosystem that can also not only serve their needs in a, in a number of different ways, but also interconnect so that it, it, it's, they ha it's a very viable and very friendly interconnected system of components that make up their workflow, irrespective of what it is that they, that they need. From the owner operator level, all the way up to the massive enterprise level in, you know, customer installations. Well, let's, so, let's, let's talk about the owner operator, because I know you brought a couple of things with you today. Right. Let's, can you pull one of those out here? And let's sure, see. yeah, so what we have here is what we call our optical disk archive. Uh, technology. It's a disk-based archiving system where it's cartridge-based, where we can go, for example, this cartridge is 3.3 terabytes. Uh, the generation, second generation of this technology can do up to a gigabits per second write speed uh, and you know, much faster read speed. Uh, we developed this for very cost-effective, very long-term, very much safe and reliable storage. You can put it on the shelf. Years later, you can take it off the shelf, put it into the the ODA, the optical disk archive reader, and it, it'll work, no problem. <laughs> we were uh, kidding about that yeah, earlier. Yeah. This has a shelf life of 100 years. 100 years theoretical shelf life. Theoretically, theoretical, yeah. right. Yeah. But it, it's been, um, it's based on optical disk technology. So we already know with CD, the, you know, the later generations of CD, the later generations of DVD, Blu-ray, where they're extremely robust, very cost-effective, very reliable media 
storage, archivable media, and, and this is the professional version of that technology. Right. So uh, that's another example of where we can diversify out into the into the archive um, a market for customers that are producing so many files, irrespective of where they're coming from, whether it's stills cameras or video cameras, and be able to store them and manage them on a technology like this. Right. And we have the software layers to be able to manage that, manage those files on the storage. Well, you got to be able to find the stuff. Too. You got to find them. You got to track them. You got to be able to log, work, with, you know, uh, annotate with metadata. So many, so many different things you need to do with the with the assets. Well, I know you have another storage uh, yeah. solution yeah. here. So this one is, this is our new RAID architecture, RAID hard drive. Uh, comes in four terabyte and six terabyte design, USB 3 and Thunderbolt for extremely fast transfer speeds to and from the your RAID unit. And this is yet another example of how we diversify as a company to offer up you know, products that customers really need and extremely cost effective, very powerful uh, technologies. Yeah. So this, and this is upscalable to? Well, you can daisy chain them, so okay. you can have multiples of, you know, the sky's the limit through Thunderbolt and okay. USB, USB 3. And, and so it, to, to kind of go back to your original comment about that umbrella approach of like being the provider, you would see this as a very important key yes. in that element. Right, right. So if you look at the seven pillars, it's with, with acquisition, file management, uh, post-production, mastering, delivery, archiving, and so forth. Uh, we have products and solutions under each of those major categories, and we can interconnect those solutions and products to form a holistic workflow for the customer, as I mentioned, regardless of the level of what right. they're dealing with. Another example is um, media asset management. We have a new uh, a new system called uh, uh, Navigator X, which is an extremely powerful HTML5 based media asset management and media object management platform that is, again, very scalable and uh, very portable, can, can work off cell phones, PDAs, uh, tablets, computers, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. and can also be cloud, cloud connected as well. Uh, we have our C cloud uh, production platform, which again offers management, workflow, dailies, and other, other workflow characteristics in the cloud. And all everything can talk to everything else. Right. So the cameras are the starting point from a, the acquisition part, producing these files, and you go from there. You can stream directly to the, to the cloud with a lot of the acquisition solutions. Mm -hmm. um, you can talk directly to the RAID drives with uh, Navigator X, with ODA, with Optical Disk Archive. Um, and it just goes on and on from there. Well, let me put you on the spot because we only have about a minute left. Yeah. Um, is there any like thing that you'd like to share with our audience that maybe they don't know, that they should know about Sony and the direction they're going? You know, the, the, key, the key message is um, no matter what your workflow, no matter what your challenges are in your environment, we can solve them. Uh, again, mentioning the, the pillars mm -hmm. of production, no matter what area you're looking at, Take a, look at, take a look at our portfolio, come to us, contact us, and we can help you with your challenges. We can solve your challenges. Great, well thank you very, very much for coming by today. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. No, I really appreciate it. it.